I am trying to educate myself more. I've reached that age where I need knowledge. I feel guilty about not knowing enough. You know, I had a good education, but I didn't make the most of it, I think. And um, I've even stopped watching trash TV. Now, when I'm at home, I watch hours and hours of Discovery Channel and History Channel. Hours, Discovery Channel, History Channel. Ask me anything about sharks and Nazis. Um, <laughs> round of applause there for... There's not, they're, not, they're not as bad as a lot of people make out. Um, sharks, I mean. <laughs> Nazis, awful. I, sharks, brilliant. Amazing creature, OK. It can hone in on a floundering fish, right? Through the vibrations that it picks up through electrical impulses, through sensors in its flank. It doesn't need its eyes, but contrary to popular belief, their eyes are very good, OK? But it can smell and taste the slightest human secretion of blood and sweat, one part in a billion from a mile away. A shark would have found Anne Frank like that. <laughs> Nazis, rubbish. <laughs> I've been to her house, it's tiny. Every day they went in. OK, let's move on. Sarge, can we look upstairs today? <laughs> no, there's no one down here. Move on. Sarge, what's that tapping? <laughs> she had time to write a book, for Christ's sake. <laughs> well, it ends a bit abruptly, and no sequel. Lazy. No, <laughs> but... Not a traditional subject for comedy, the old Holocaust. But I will say something about the Holocaust, and I'm sticking my neck out here, but in my opinion, I blame Adolf Hitler. <laughs> he was the ringleader. <laughs> Old Adolf. That name's died out, hasn't it? <laughs> he killed that dead, didn't he? No one's calling their kid Adolf nowadays. No little Adolfs going to school. Loads of Brads and Angelinas, but no... Look, you don't hear the teacher doing the register. Brad here, Angelina here, Adolf here. Uh, <laughs> I do that quick so no one can take a picture of me doing that. Um, <laughs> no, but people make excuses for him. People say, uh, uh, oh, he was stupid, he was easily led, he didn't, he didn't mean that. What do you mean he didn't mean that? They say, oh no, he was influenced by the political philosopher, Friedrich Nietzsche, right? Because Nietzsche wrote this uh, paper um, talking about a, a superman. He, he said, not all men are born equal. And Hitler misinterpreted this and went way too far with it. And uh, <laughs> think of that. You're a great scholar, you've done this work, and you get a call from the Fuhrer. And the Fuhrer goes... All right, Nietzsche. He goes, yeah, good, what do you want? He goes, just read your book. What do you think? Love it. <laughs> Love all that, man and Superman, not everyone's equal, kill all the Jews, sorry? <laughs> not everyone's equal, so kill all the Jews. I didn't write that. <laughs> I read between the lines. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't mean that, that's terrible of you. You haven't, been killing, you, haven't, you haven't been killing Jewish people, have you? What? <laughs> have you been killing Jewish people? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> A few. How many? Six million. <laughs> six million? That's what I won't do anymore. Leave it. <laughs> Leave it at six. That's terrible. I won't do any more. Stay for dinner? Well, I will, but be careful in future. <laughs> I will. Are you writing any other books? Well, I am, but I'm scared to tell you about it. <laughs> I won't do anything. What's your new book called? My new book is called The Gypsies. Do we need them? <laughs> 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 